Good evening once again everyone. Hell's Unicorn here with yet another in a long series of unrelated rants. So, <clears throat> I've been reflecting for the past day now about the recent news about the uh, Alan Tipper Gore divorce, as it were. And I've also seen a couple of videos on YouTube about it. Probably the one that's kind of popping into my head first here is the... Uh, Young Turks video discussing the subject, and I I find it just a tiny bit ironic that uh, people preemptively politicize things just for the purpose of pointing out that other people are going to supposedly politicize these things before the fact. You know, it's kind of like saying. I hate you because you're going to do that, and the person in response does it because that person said he was going to do it. Think about it for a second now. Would people react the way that they do if someone did not make an assumption beforehand and make it known to everyone? If you throw a stone into a lake, are you surprised that the waters ripple afterwards? It's a little food for thought for all of you out there who put up videos titled The Allen Tipper Split and How the Right Will React. Good Lord, the propaganda tendencies in those titles. <clears throat> Fomenting division and infighting amongst Americans, Ooh, that is all too an American thing to do, especially in the aftermath of Memorial Day, as it were, one of the most divisive holidays in my own household. <laughs> as I have kind of a different opinion regarding all the wars that we're fighting with the rest of my family, and apparently with most of the rest of the country, because it seems that when push comes to uh, shove, people like the Young Turks, you know, they think Iraq and Afghanistan, you know, it's, it's their wars now, because they're guys in power, and as such, those wars have now become defensible. But for me, the unchanging man on an endless pursuit of some sense of integrity. I find myself opposing such things no matter who's in office. And likewise, along with anybody else who uses logic rather than simply playing into the whole illogical party politics thing, I'm taken a bit abat, at, aback excuse me, at the pettiness that goes on in these discussions, these debates, or whatever the heck you want to call them. Those are euphemisms. People split hairs over the tiniest little things, such as a famous celebrity politician having a divorce, just like we make a lot of our other forms of celebrities, like, ooh, who's uh, J-Lo splitting from this time? Or at least that was the big thing several years ago. I mean, we're too busy... I think, in many respects, pointing out each other's flaws rather than looking at our own. But, given the circumstances of who this is, Al Gore in particular, I think that some of us are entitled to make a few playful jokes. This is a guy who has an uncanny lack of ability to tell the truth and to twist the truth whenever he can to suit his own pet causes and agendas. I put a couple of links in the description just to kind of whet your appetite uh, for it, but really, you type in Al Gore lies into a Google search, you're going to get thousands upon thousands of websites documenting stuff that he's been involved with, or Al Gore hypocrite, I mean, pick your poison there. I mean, and you're, you're sure to find plenty of it, trust me. If Al Gore was just a regular, ordinary guy who didn't feel the need to meddle in everybody else's lives, to purvey prophecies of impending doom and then call it science, and then say that everybody else has to pay out of pocket for it while he parades around in private jets and drives gas guzzlers and has a home worth uh, six, seven digits uh, and burning energy in massive quantities, probably more than I ever will in my lifetime. You know, a person like that going around and preaching to the rest of us about how, you know, we're destroying the planet is similar to Cenk's own 
objections to supposed right-wing hypocrites. You know, there's a lot of hypocrisy to go around here. And in some respects, I might be guilty of a little hypocrisy on my own part here and there. I mean, it's, it goes with being human. But the distinction is that I myself and others like me, I'm sure some of you in my audience are like this as well, we take time to occasionally reflect on our own hypocrisy and try to correct it a little, a little bit if we can. We don't just simply point fingers at somebody else and say, ooh, you know, look at that hypocrite over there. Don't pay attention to my hypocrisies. Ooh, look at that. Or we might even congratulate ourselves from time to time. Ooh, you know, I'm not nearly as big of a hypocrite as that guy. As though that makes you any better. You know. And leave us not forget, this is the same chink of the Young Turks who thinks that the Armenian genocide never happened. I mean... <laughs> Al Gore is a picnic compared to the, some of the crap that this guy believes. Ugh. But, as I said earlier, just a rant. And I'm sure I could speculate further. I mean, let's face it, the, the advent of divorce usually involves something more than just people growing apart. I'm left with a little wiggle uh, room given Al Gore's situation and how he's messed up a lot of other situations for a lot of other people. I'm definitely, I think a little bit uh, privileged to speculate a little bit on what might be going on there. Uh, there might be a mistress or there might be a man or in the case of Al Gore, I'd say more likely there is a huge obsession with himself and coming along with that a lack of attention being paid to his wife. The guy's obsessed with how everybody else thinks about him but in all of that, usually the people that matter the most tend to get pushed to the sidelines and their opinions tend to matter less. I mean, is it really natural for married couples to never see each other for months on end? I mean, eventually you got to put down the crusader's armor and say, I'm going to be a husband instead of some kind of self-righteous pseudo superhero. But that's just me. Take from it what you will. With prudence to myself and benevolence to all of you, good evening.